I'm Lisa Fair from Coldwell Banker West Shell. As a realtor, I believe that all people should be free from discrimination as they realize their American dream through homeownership. In 1968, our government passed the Federal Fair Housing Act, which made housing discrimination illegal for all protected classes. This year marks the 50th anniversary of this important piece of legislation. So today, I'm at the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center in downtown Cincinnati, where I'm meeting a representative from Housing Opportunities Made Equal to discuss why the Fair Housing Act is still relevant today. And joining us now is our guest, Deb Jetter from HOME, Housing Opportunities Made Equal. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, Lisa, it's good to be here. Yeah, can you describe for our viewers exactly what HOME's mission is? Sure, HOME was organized in 1959 by a group of concerned citizens composed of city officials, the Urban League, the NAACP, and people from the community who wanted to help eliminate housing discrimination based on race. With the passage of the 1968 Civil Rights Act, it was incorporated during that year, and we now advocate for people based on race, color, religion, national origin, family status, and people with disabilities. So those are the people that we have the legal right to protect. Okay, and you've been doing this work for a long time. Um, I heard about 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what progress have you seen in the past four decades? Well, since I started in 1978, there's been great progress. Uh, I came aboard where discrimination was very blatant and uh, it was legal to discriminate and uh, people didn't get in trouble. Uh, our city has gotten a lot better. Uh, I see real estate agents that are passionate about fair housing, and when I first came aboard, that wasn't true. However, on the market of uh, rentals, it's different because these are owners who are new, uh, they're emotional about their properties, and so we have a lot of complaints that come from that market. Mm. And I was surprised to see uh, that about 60% of homes cases involve people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious what some of the other um, emerging issues are uh, in fair housing. Um, the lesbian, bisexual, transgender, gay, and queer communities, you know, they really don't have protection under the Fair Housing Act. So mm -hmm. advocates are, uh, worrying for that to be covered. So now if someone were denied housing choice because uh, they're a part of that community, you know, they might be denied. Home still takes those cases to see how we can help them, but on a national level, we're trying to get that class protected under the Fair Housing Act. Uh, the other emerging issue that we see is dealing with um, immigrants. Uh, that's an issue where some people are being deported and uh, that's a problem for advocates, you know, who stand mm -hmm. up for their rights. Mm -hmm. uh, we also see inequality in the uh, uh, credit area, where uh, people who have built up good credit through the check cashing, you know, places, uh, they don't have banking as uh, most people see it, but <clears throat> they don't get the credit. So oftentimes when they go look for housing, whether it's rental or whether it's real estate, uh, they can't be considered uh, as anyone else. So uh, advocates are trying to change that. Mm -hmm. We're also looking uh, locally at historic patterns in our city of discrimination. Uh, once that has started, <clears throat> there's still uh, areas like uh, housing authorities and counties and even uh, areas in our city that has locked in discrimination. Mm -hmm. uh, Claremont County, Brown County, you know, where there's not much diversity out there. Sure. And so we're looking for the government locally to build housing that's inclusive, like mm -hmm. people with disabilities who don't have accessible housing on a large scale like they uh, would like in every community. So we are moving to have communities be inclusive where everyone has the opportunity for wealth. And wealth comes in owning your own home. Yeah. And so that's one of our strives too, is to make sure that everybody who wants it has the opportunity to get wealth through housing ownership. Well, it, clearly the work is still, you know, relevant and very important, and I appreciate that you've been at the front lines of it. So thank you, and thank, thank you, you for your time today. Thank you so much. For more information about Home's mission, you can visit their website. And for information about the Cincinnati real estate market, 
you can visit mine at www.lisafair.com. Thank you.